The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. Hey kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. The other day when we were building, rebuilding that screwball engine, <clears throat> one of the things that bothered me was I didn't have a way to really hold it to the table well to test it to make sure it worked, uh, make sure I had no knocks in it, make sure, you know, all that. I don't like building an engine, fixing an engine, doing whatever, then having to put it back into a hull just to test it. So, ta-da, I made this. I designed this and I 3D printed it. I just put this stuff in here for fun. Um, it's kind of obvious which way it goes. This is a snap-in engine mount. So all my workbenches are wood. And I have no qualms with drilling holes in them for no reason at all. I'm going to resurface this guy hopefully tomorrow so you guys don't have to look at this ugliness anymore. Um, so I will screw in when I need to. Those six screws. Whatever screws you like. And you can see there's a little recessed panel right there. Cut out for the exhaust, cut out for the carb. It does matter which way it goes because look at your mounts. Okay. So now <clears throat> I rounded these corners. I actually tapered them. I'm sorry, these screws. I tapered them on my bench grinder, but you don't have to do that. Um, if you, I'm going to put this up on Thingiverse and just type in JJ Roto Geek and maybe it'll come up. Um, and I'll put Zenoa test stand on it. So anybody wants to download it, it's going to be V2 is going to be the new one because my hole spacing wasn't quite great. Uh, one thing you want to do, whatever you decide to use for screws, you will have to open up the holes. I did put the holes in here, but they're small. That way you can just open it up with a drill, put in your own things. So the whole point of this, this recess, is so you don't have to take off your collet. This will fit with a standard collet or a pulley collet, pull start or a pulley or nothing. And all you do is lock in the front, and slap it down. Lock. It doesn't lock in, but it stays in. It stays in good enough for bench testing. Okay, you can still keep your hand on it, give it a pull, you know, but it'll be screwed in. Um, I might beef these up on V2 because um, I'm not. I don't know how well. But if you have six of them holding it, it should be okay. Okay, but you can see you got plenty of room in there for turning if you want to leave your exhaust on. But I'm gonna use this for when. I rebuild engines, I want to test them, or uh, whatever, you know, basically is, is winterizing, that's it, it's just a little test stand, it's nothing fancy, print it with supports, no big deal, and I even made a little hole for the idle screw, now we don't use idle screws in marine engines when we're running, but it is handy to have an idle screw in here, because you won't have any way to control your idle, so screw that in, fire it up, you can control your throttle from the back with your finger, obviously. And then when you're done with this idle screw, everybody, if you guys got boats, you probably have a few of these laying around. Take this out, screw it into here. Just kind of keeps it safe for you. And that's it. Pretty simple, but useful. Effective. Neat. Not so pretty. But there's the front. Roto Geek. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, just a quick tip. Keep dry side up, kids. Bye. Gangnam Style. Oh, oh.